Hey guys, Engineer Wannabe here. Today we are going to be looking at the SPB uh, 091J1. Uh, we're going to be doing a one week on the wrist uh, review, a mini review. Um, basically my thoughts on this watch after wearing it for a week. So uh, this watch is the, uh, the latest enamel dial watch uh, out of Seiko. It's got a blue enamel dial which is uh, quite visible here but of course in uh, other lighting conditions uh, it is uh, almost black so it looks like a black enamel dial uh, very nice uh, rich uh, lustrous blue or lustrous black uh, dial and has those uh, very charming um, dimples and uh, uh, different reflections, different ways in which it uh, plays with the light, just the dial alone. Uh, it's a, a very pleasant watch um, uh, to, to look at. Uh, so before we get started, uh, I am wearing uh, the SJE073. Uh, kind of after wearing uh, this watch, this watch kind of feels a bit more big, uh, quite a bit bigger. Basically the, the dial is so uh, so vast that uh, it's a little jarring when you first put it on. Uh, it's still uh, one of my favorite watches. Uh, really uh, amazing uh, finishing, amazing detail, incredibly thin, uh, a lot of fun. Uh, the dial, of course, is a lot of fun. Um, but this watch feels a bit, almost a bit more proportional, um, relatively speaking, of course. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this watch. So, uh, this watch uh, was released uh, or announced in Basel World uh, 2019. It was released uh, sometime in uh, in uh, May to June of 2019, and um, it uh, it is a, uh, a very very interesting watch uh, it's got that uh, amazing fired enamel uh, dial uh, that's been handmade which is a, a huge uh, a huge draw of uh, of this watch it's uh, it's you know it's handcrafted at least the dial is right so uh, let's take a quick uh, measurement of uh, of the dimensions of this watch i have uh, around 40 and a half a little less than that around 40 and a half we should get digital calipers um, thickness is 13 on the dot it seems and lug to lug is 40, 47. So, uh, very, uh, very nice proportions. It wears very well on the wrist. And this uh, uh, is thinner than the uh, previous enamel watches. Uh, uh, quite a bit uh, thinner, actually, by uh, um, one millimeter, I think, which makes makes a bit big difference. You may you may think that it doesn't. Uh, but it, it does make a difference. Uh, it comes on a steel bracelet, and if you saw the unboxing, I was a little um, unimpressed with the bracelet quality. Uh, it's not uh, too bad now that it's been sized. It's actually because it's so flexible, uh, very comfortable on the wrist. It's incredibly comfortable on the wrist. It uh, conforms to your wrist very well, uh, but uh, it does have it does have a bit of a rattle. Um, which uh, makes it feel a bit older than it actually is uh, or maybe of a lesser quality. The clasp is uh, the usual clasp that we see in this price range. Uh, you see it with the Sarx models um, and even the SJE has a very similar clasp flush with the bracelet itself which is uh, a huge plus. I, I really uh, uh, appreciate that, uh, that detail. Um, Swing arm is uh, not too not too long, uh, and it opens up uh, very well, fairly well. The crown is uh, fairly 
oversized. Uh, it is a signed crown, which is nice. And uh, the movement uh, is a 6R27C. So it's got a, a fair amount of decoration, not nothing, uh, no jeweling or anything, but uh, um, it's it's pleasant to look at uh, if uh, if you wanted to. Uh, some uh, nice uh, uh, stripes, uh, Geneva stripes, Côte de Geneve, uh, as they call it. Um, but other than that, uh, it's not uh, not an exceptional movement. It's nothing uh, uh, nothing crazy. It has a uh, 45 hour power reserve. You have a power reserve indicator here. You also have a small pointer date uh, at the six o'clock position. Uh, so. That's what the 6R27 is. Beats at 21,600 uh, uh, beats per hour, uh, which is uh, pretty typical of uh, the 6R15 that it's based on. And uh, um, it's supposed to be uh, very reliable. This one actually is uh, is really, uh, really bang on. Uh, I'm getting around uh, plus, when I first uh, unboxed it, I was getting around plus two seconds a day. And uh, now it's actually settled down to uh, pretty much zero. Zero seconds per day lost or gained. Uh, so uh, amazing, uh, amazing uh, outcome. Uh, you are kind of rolling the dice when you do uh, pick one of these up in terms of uh, movement accuracy. But this one uh, turned out to be very good. Uh, in general, I, I do find that uh, the movement is usually within 10, 10 seconds uh, so I mean in, in, the, in the for the most part it is uh, a, f a safe bet but to get a whoops excuse me there to get a zero seconds per day um, movement is pretty uh, uh, pretty acceptable so let's go ahead and uh, put it on the wrist and uh, see what it looks like put this down for now take my SJE off There you go. It, uh, it 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 feels very good on the wrist. It's uh, well balanced. Um, very, as I mentioned earlier, very comfortable uh, because of how that bracelet articulates. Uh, so you could see that uh, uh, flexibility as a positive or a negative. I'm not sure how uh, that will hold up over time. Um, but the watch wears very well on a, a strap as well. Uh, if especially uh, a good alligator, it'll dress this watch up uh, very nicely. So overall, I'm very, so far at least, I'm very pleased with this watch. Uh, it's one of those watches just like the, uh, the SJE that you just find yourself uh, staring at it. Just uh, looking at it, looking at the uh, different um, imperfections on this watch. Uh, Truly a, a great value for the money. I was um, holding this side uh, by side next to the uh, the Tudor Black Bay 36 and uh, You really can't beat the value that uh, that you get from Seiko um, The um, amazing uh, handcrafting the uh, art artistic uh, finishing and just uh, the dial variations so I, uh, I really am a, a fan of Seiko. So anyway, this uh, has been a, uh, a quick review or, or a one week review of this S, uh, SPB, almost said SJE there, SPB 091J1, the enamel, blue enamel dial uh, Seiko on the bracelet just new for 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you uh, want any comparisons done with this watch or any other watches you may have seen on, uh, on my channel and I will uh, try to accommodate that. So yeah, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a good night. Take care. Bye.